Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you guys? If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. So guys, we are going to do your weekly reading. It is going to be a little shorter and less involved than our monthlies and mid-monthlies because we're just taking a look at where the energy flows for you for about the next week. It is a general reading, so guys, they will not be able to resonate for all of you. So just take what's meant for you and go ahead and leave the rest. Information for your personal readings is in the description box. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors... Please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very beautiful Sagittarius. May the messages that you need to hear the most please come through and may they please find those who need to hear them. Show me Sagittarius's energy please for the next week. What is going on with my beautiful Sagittarius's for the next week? May the messages that you need to hear the most please come through and may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, let's see what we got going on for you, Sagittarius. All right. You know, I was hearing the words missed opportunity um, when I was meditating on your energy earlier and this kind of almost like a stressful feeling. Um, came over me. So Sagittarius, I'm kind of seeing similar energy here in, in your reading. So I feel like it's time for change. And I feel like you feel it too. Okay. But that doesn't make it any easier or less stressful. But Sagittarius, I feel like um, you've kind of been doing your own thing for a little bit. Um, kind of on your own. Maybe not super... <sighs> I don't want to say recluse or hermit energy, but, you know, not really looking for love or putting yourself out there at all. Um, I feel like you guys have just been kind of doing your own thing. I feel like there's definitely a period of healing that you guys had to go through after your last connection. And I just feel like you haven't really felt ready to put yourself out there. But I do feel like lately, Sagittarius, you guys have been feeling um, a little bit of shift in that energy. Like, almost that it's time. I feel like you guys have been feeling a nudge, you know, to maybe put yourself back out there or to, you know, explore some option that you have. Um, and I do feel like there's a little stress around that for you. So at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy. So everything else will tie back into this. Then we do have the Page of Cups. Right underneath of it, we have the Knight of Cups. So, wow, I really like this. All right. This, this combination here, especially with it being right underneath, you know, I do feel like there is somebody who um, is very interested in you. I feel like you've captured someone's interest. And Sagittarius, I feel like it's not just, you know, physically that they are attracted to you. I feel like they've been, um, let's say keeping an eye on you, but not in a creepy way. Like they've noticed how you treat people. They notice how you carry yourself. Um, they see you as somebody who's a really good person. Okay, so they're interested in you um, for more than just surface things. Okay, they, they think you're a really good person. They like the way you interact with others. They like the energy that you put off. They're attracted to you. Now, I do feel like you're coming across a little standoffish. There is a need for you to um, decide where you want to go. You have the page of wands in the reverse. So I feel like you haven't really quite figured out yet what direction you want to take your next step in. I feel like you've been doing your own thing for a while and you're not sure if you're ready to step out of that. You're not sure if you want to just, you know, date around. You're not sure if you want something serious. I feel like there's a need for you to figure out what you want um, when it comes to love and relationships. Because so I feel like you don't know what direction to step in right now. Now, there is somebody here, and this person, because, you know, they're starting off as the page, 
you know, I feel like they're coming across light, flirty, casual, okay? They're willing to start and, you know, go slow. But it has potential to turn into something more serious, to grow, you know, and become more emotional, more of an emotional, deeper connection. Now, the thing with the Page of Cups is, you can see he's got a fish in there, and the fish can just slip out. He can lose it at any time. So I feel like this is where that missed opportunity is coming in at. Sagittarius, there's a, there's a connection here. Somebody who definitely is interested in you. Um, there's a connection that could definitely grow into something more. Um, there's a three of pentacles here. So they, you know, you could definitely build a solid foundation with this person. This is somebody you could, you know, have goals with, build with, um, be on the same page with. It's a very beautiful energy. That's a very... Um, lovely partnership energy, okay? And it can definitely turn into that Knight of Cups and grow into something more. However, because I feel like you haven't made up your mind, you've been in kind of hermit mode. You know, in your advice, it's coming up as the hermit in reverse. It's time to come out of that now, okay? It's time for you to take all that knowledge and that wisdom that you've gained and that healing that you've gained from this time on your own and from your previous experiences. And it's it's time to, you know, reintroduce yourself to the world um, if you don't want to miss these opportunities. But right now I feel like you don't even know if you want to miss the opportunity or not. But I do feel like there is going to be an opportunity presented presenting itself to you um but it does feel like it's one that's not this doesn't feel like a person who's going to wait around forever Sagittarius so this is kind of one of those energies of I feel like spirits trying to get you to to really think about what you want um so that you don't miss an opportunity so we do have the four of swords in the reverse is your energy this week so I do feel like you're gonna you're coming out of this a little bit you also have the five of cups in the reverse so I feel like there's a part of you that is, like I said, you've already been feeling these nudges. You've already been feeling this little energy shift within yourself. Because I think there's a part of you that's like, okay, we're done moping. We're done being sad. We're done crying Oop, over spilled milk. I threw it on the floor. We're done crying over spilled milk. There's a part of you that's like, I've been sad long enough. I've been on my own long enough. I've been healing long enough. Um, there's a part of you that's ready to just fully release this and move on. Um, like I said, I feel like there's a part of you that wants to start putting yourself out there, that wants to come back out because you have done your healing, because you have done your own thing, but now you still haven't quite figured out what direction you want to go into when you come out. And that's kind of the energy I feel like you guys are going to be in this week, just kind of trying to figure things out. But I do feel like Sagittarius, there is a connection coming in for you that... It's going to start off fun, playful, but they see you as more. They're not just attracted to you physically, although I do think they are very physically attracted to you. Um, they also are attracted to who you are and the way that you present yourself and the way you carry yourself and how you treat others. And that's a really good, you know, starting point. Um, it definitely has potential to turn into something more um, if you allow it to. Okay, this is somebody who you can definitely build with and grow with. Um, this is somebody who's you know, I feel like you could have a lot of fun with them as well. There's somebody who's going to make you laugh and be silly. So, Spirit just wants you to figure out what direction you're wanting to go into, okay, Sagittarius? Because I do feel like you're going to be meeting somebody. Somebody is about to be coming in for you. So, let's get some um, oracle cards for you. Some confirmation, clarification, or advice. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, can we get some confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Sagittarius for the next week, please? Confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Sagittarius, please. Ooh, there we go. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Perfect. So this is spirit saying, you don't gotta, you know, jump in and rush anything, but extend your energy come come out a little bit play be flirty see where it goes and honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay when i get this card it always it for me is an indicator of being present in the moment okay so spirit saying don't dwell so much on what happened in the past and don't worry about so much about what could happen in the future who knows Maybe nothing will come of this. Maybe you guys will end up being really just great friends. Or maybe this could end up being the love of your life. You don't know, but don't stress about it. Be present in the moment. 
just flirt, just have fun, and just be present. See where that energy takes you. Let's get a couple charms for you, and then we will pull you some Archangel messages. A little heart with wings it's a key I love this for you this is definitely <laughs> a need to open up okay the key is such a such a perfect one for this such a beautiful confirmation there's a there's a need to open up okay there's a need to be a little open be a little vulnerable let love in this is the, there's lots of different keys this is the only one that has the heart on it okay there's a need to let love in to open up to love now we have the cross here as well. So I do feel like the person that is coming in, you know, could be a very, um, this could be a very spiritual connection for you guys as well. This is somebody who's going to be able to relate to you on your spiritual path and maybe walk that with you. You know, this is definitely seeing when I get the cross, that is what that is telling me. You know, this is somebody who's going to be very spiritual, who's going to be on the same page with you with this. And I really like, I really like this. We have the airplane. So some of you guys could be traveling or maybe planning a trip. Or maybe when you meet this person, you guys start planning a trip. There's definitely something to do with traveling here for some of you. I really like this. I really like this for you. And we have the tiger. So the tiger can be a little aggressive. Um, the tiger can be... I don't know, I always like think about him, how he's like stealthy and then he just out of nowhere pounces. I do feel like this person, um, because you've been off your, on your own for a minute doing your own thing, I feel like this person is going to feel like that too. Like it's just like, bam, they came out of nowhere, just pounced in out of nowhere. Um, but remember that just because something starts quickly does not mean you have to keep with that pace for the whole connection. Um, and even if they come out of nowhere, you know, doesn't mean that you have to go at a really quick pace. So they might, it might feel very energetically like the tiger, you know, very out of nowhere and kind of fast and aggressive, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. Just take that for what it is because it's just, I feel like it's not taking you by surprise a little bit, but you just, you've been off of it for a little bit. So now it's just seeming very overwhelming all at one time. So just remember that there's nothing wrong with slowing down and there's nothing wrong with taking things at your own pace, okay? All right, let's get you some Archangel cards now. And we'll ask the Archangels that'll be watching over you and guiding you the very most for the rest of, or for the next week, what message they have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my very beautiful Sagittarius, what message do you have for them for the next week, please? As you watch over and guide my beautiful Sagittarius, there we go again too, let me see. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you cannot see yet. I love this. So yes, be positive, have faith. Um, there is something new coming and I definitely see a new person coming in for you. You might not be able to see it yet, but it's coming in, so just Get those positive vibes up and figure out what you're looking for, Sagittarius. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, massage, a sea salt bath, or a pedicure. So yes, you can't pour from an empty cup, Sagittarius, and maybe spend some time meditating and contemplating. You know, take a bath and soak in it and meditate while you're in there about what you really want. Really sort through those feelings. But there's a, there's a need for you to give back to yourself a little bit, okay? I hope that this resonates. I know that these are a little shorter and less detailed and stuff than our monthlies and mid-monthlies because they're just weekly energies, but I will be starting our February monthlies here in just a couple days, okay? So I'm sending you guys all kinds of love and light, and if you want um, personal prayers for any reason, you know the deal. Put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you personally, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time, bye.